We returned from our Christmas holidays, January 2013, uh, to be informed that Jenny uh, had been admitted into hospital and hadn't been in church for a few weeks. So I jumped on the telephone to try to locate her and she moved from Rosebud Hospital to Frankston Hospital uh, to find her that she'd been placed in transitional care. Um, there was a few concerns from the social workers about uh, uh, the safety of her home and some, some health issues naturally. And uh, having talked to them, we, we were able to identify a list of things that they needed to see happen uh, to permit Jenny to go home. Now Jenny being a, a, a widow living by herself, um, posed a, a few questions about how these things were going to happen while Jenny was actually in, in hospital. So uh, a great cause started to form in our hearts and just uh, led us to the scripture in James where it talks about true religion is uh, looking after and visiting the widow and the orphan in their distress. Uh, we looked at the whole situation and thought well what is it as a church that we could practically do to uh, see Jenny come home, back into the back into the church, back into her home and just generally be a blessing. So a project that started early February uh, in 2013 that we thought was going to take a couple of weekends uh, ended up finally being uh, completed in, in May. But what started off as just a, uh, a simple maintenance repair, a bit of a clean up, really turned into a makeover. fantastic testimony uh, within the community and the, the medical professional world of just what a church can, can do when we all come together in unity and we join together with a single focus and a single purpose. And uh, I firmly believe that everybody who is involved in this project has uh, been abundantly blessed. Oh, look, it's all beautiful. It's like you. You sure this is my house? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the my <laughs> And Jenny herself, well, she thinks she's living in Buckingham Palace now. Jenny, we love you.